Iran's uranium enrichment. Despite international pressure, Iran continues to enrich uranium beyond the requirements for commercial nuclear use. The International Atomic Energy Agency (IAEA) chief Rafael Grossi stated that Iran is enriching uranium at a rate of around seven kilograms per month to 60 percent purity, which is close to weapons grade. 2015 nuclear agreement. Under the 2015 agreement, Iran was only allowed to enrich uranium to 367. However, after the U.S. withdrew from the deal in 2018 and reimposed sanctions, Iran breached and exceeded the deal's nuclear restrictions. The IAEA warned that Iran already had enough material to make three nuclear bombs if it enriches the material now at 60 percent to beyond 60 percent. Grossi expressed concern over high officials in Iran, stating they have all the elements for a nuclear weapon. Grossi's planned visit to Tehran and Moscow. Grossi plans to visit Tehran next month for the first time in a year to end the drifting apart. Before visiting Tehran, Grossi is to meet Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss Iran and the Middle East, along with Ukraine, Russia's role in the JPOA, Russia signatory of the 2015 deal known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JPOA, has a role to play on Iran. The deal lifted sanctions on Iran in exchange for curbs on its nuclear activities. Situation in Ukraine. Grossi noted a decrease in military operations around the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine, the biggest nuclear power plant in Europe. Despite fears of a serious nuclear incident, the minimum staff required to look after the plant in the current situation is there. Iran has initiated the construction of a new nuclear research reactor at the Isfahan site. Adding to the three existing reactors at the Isfahan Nuclear Research Center, the new reactor, with the capacity of 10 megawatts, is designed to be a potent source of neutrons. The reactor will have multiple uses, including testing of fuel and nuclear materials, and the production of industrial radioisotopes and radiopharmaceuticals. Since 2018. Iran has been under stringent U.S. sanctions following the U.S. withdrawal from a significant nuclear deal. Despite these sanctions, Iran maintains that its nuclear activities are peaceful and denies any intention to develop nuclear weapons. The International Atomic Energy Agency (IAEA) has expressed concerns about Iran's lack of transparency regarding its nuclear activities. Mohammad Eslami. Head of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran recently announced the construction of a nuclear power plant complex in Sirik, located on the Strait of Hormuz. The complex will consist of four individual plants with a total production capacity of 5,000 megawatts. Eslami stated that Iran aims to achieve a nuclear power production capacity of 20,000 megawatts by 2041. Currently. Only five countries: the United States, France, China, Russia, and South Korea have a nuclear capacity exceeding 20,000 megawatts. The Sirik plants are expected to be fully operational by 2031. At present, Iran operates one nuclear power plant in Bushehr, which has a production capacity of 3,000 megawatts. The Isfahan Nuclear Research Center in central Iran is already home to. Three reactors, which are actively operational.